Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. We are so excited to have you again. 20th of uh, October 2020 seems not to be forgotten by Nigerians all over the world. That was the exact day when the protests, NSAS protests, got to the climax. Nigerians watched as uh, there were some shooting from the military against the peaceful protesters at the Lekki Togid. And it has uh, triggered a lot of reactions from different quarters. Even the international community is interested in what the case will turn out to be. But guess what? This time around, the group of uh, civil society organizations are giving the federal government a timeline for them to fish out shooters or risk another protest. It's really serious, I tell you the truth. And according to the news, the coalition of civil society group on Wednesday gave federal government and Nigerian army 15 days of ultimatum to fish out the soldiers that shot the NSAS protesters at Lekito Gate Lagos. The group comprising the Campaign for Democracy, CD, Human Rights, Liberty Access and Peace Defenders Foundation, Horright, Civil Liberty Organization, CLO, and Igbo Elders Forum, IEF, threaten another protest at the expiration of the ultimatum. They flee the Lagos State Government and the Nigerian Army for feeling in ignorance of persons behind the shooting when in actual sense they were united in sending troops to Lekki Togate which they said the army finally exposed on Tuesday. Speaking on behalf of the group in Onicha, Publicity Secretary of CD and Chairman CD Southeast Zone Dede Uzo Uzo, the group also said the federal government should set up a fund to compensate the families. He said, and I quote, the protest was peaceful and very well organized until some suspected talks sponsored by people with a vested interest in government started attacking them and instigating the supporters of the protesters to violence before the, pol the soldiers of the Nigerian army were drafted to open fire on them. The story is no more about whether soldiers were involved or not. The army through Major Olaniyi on Tuesday revealed soldiers' involvement and we and who invited them. We are now concerned about the soldiers or officers that carried out the shooting. This kind of shooting of protesting civilians does not happen in a democratic government. So we are calling on President Muhammad Buhari and the Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General Tokyo Toko Burutai to within 15 days fish out army officers that were responsible for the shooting of the protesters at Lake Togen. If at the expiration of 15 days from now to November 1st, 2020, the soldiers of the Nigerian army who carried out the despicable shooting of the protesters were not shown to Nigerians, we will organize the murder of the protests that Nigerians have never seen in its history to show to the world that Nigeria is not banana republic and Nigeria Nigerians are not happy that their citizens are being killed like rats. Wow. Wow. This is a very serious issue. And you know, uh, this is quite unlike Nigeria because um, before now, issues like this would have been swept under the carpet and forgotten about. Or if it's not even swept under the carpet, tone of events will come up and before you know, the whole issue is forgotten about. Now, if you notice, after the shooting, some other things had taken place. But yet, if you notice it very well, Nigerians are still asking very stiff questions. Some political elite who are not happy with what happened at the Togo, the likes of FFK, uh, 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 some other Atikwa Bubak, mentioned them. There are so many. They are still repeatedly asking questions about the issue of the Lekito Gate uh, fire, gunfire, which um, at first it seems it was being denied, but with 
tons of events or with uh, uh, more interest being expressed in it, a lot of things are now coming up and people now, people want to know who are the people that were involved in the shooting. We want to know. 15 of, uh, sorry, uh, 20th of October seems not to get out of the mind of Nigerians. Countless people are waiting. Even the the Lagos State uh, uh, judicial panel of investigation that had been set off. People are seems not even to be interested in the cases of police brutality. They are more focused on the most current issue, which um, the governor of Lagos State had already promised Nigerians that the footage will be given to the panel for analysis. And he, up till now, we've not heard anything about it. But hopefully, it is believed that as these guys are making progress, that uh, the panelists are making progress in entertaining uh, or hearing from different persons who had been um, victim of police brutality that issue will or that footage will one of these days be given to them so that nigerians will know exactly the people that were involved the army has also spoken about it according to them they said it was the um, government of lagos state government that dragged them into the issue when they noticed that it was getting out of hand they didn't just come in by their own accord to handle the issue they were invited by the Lagos State government. The truth is that um, no matter how uh, anybody want to deny that nothing like shooting took place, we all hate it. Even the videos, when the video was spread abroad, Nigerians all hate the gunshots and all of that. Different kind of videos. Femi Fani, uh, sorry, Falana had spoken about it seriously. And um, right now, the way things are going, it's really obvious that much preparation and much things, uh, evidence are kept on ground until possibly when some persons will leave power. Those things will be used against them in the, in the International Criminal Court. And uh, right now, Another protest may be uh, in the pipeline because according to these guys, they are giving 15 days ultimatum to the federal government to let Nigerians see the faces of those who were involved in the shooting. We can't really tell precisely what will happen to them if the federal government decides to list out the number of persons. But guess what? With what we had just seen the past few days, and with this promise these guys have given, that the mother of the protest is about to shoot out on the 1st of October, uh, it's really uh, scary, you know. Uh, that uh, 1st of November, sorry, they said 1st of November, that they are going to start a bigger protest. And um, with that, I'm, I'm really scared what will happen to Nigeria because uh, right now, Nigeria has been in the forefront of uh, uh, most political analysts and the future seems to be very bleak, you know, uh, when we talk about, you know, all these things happening at the same time. The federal government had also told the youth that they should give them some more time to look into some of the issues that had been, you know, some of the issues, pending issues, and uh, from there, they will respond to the youth. But uh, right now, more focus is on this issue of killing, which is really, really troubling. Most people want to know more about it. And uh, reactions are filled the air. And, uh, but I want you to go to our comment session. Let us interact. What do you really think? about this ultimatum given by this group they said first do they say 15 days ultimatum uh, but i i think that uh, first of november is not the um the last day for that uh, is not the expiration of that 15 days 15 days i think that will be like the 13th of uh, yeah 13 or 14 of uh, next month no i think 12 of next month will be uh, the 15 day or uh, when the 15 day ultimatum will expire let's wait to see what uh, these people would do they said the murder of protests will take place on that day let's wait to see what